interested in showing you how to create a motion guide. And a motion guide is, I'm gonna draw like a line or a swoop or a loop, and then this shape will follow the loop line that I create. And that's the idea of a motion guide. Now I'm gonna record this video once, but my experience tells me that the first time you try it on your own or follow along, it probably won't work. So I'm gonna to suggest to start a new file, create a new object and try it a second time, and hopefully that will work for you. So the first thing I need to do is select this object. So I just double clicked on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. And the first thing I need to do is convert this to a symbol. So I need it to be a symbol. And then it's probably good practice to give it a name, but I'm only gonna have one object on the screen. I don't have multiples, so I'm just gonna leave it as symbol one. If I had more than one object on the screen that I'm doing this to, I'd probably give it a name. And then down here, I'm gonna call this a graphic. So this is going to change this to a graphic. And I'm also going to look at this central, this registration right here. And right now I'm going to pick the, center, the central registration. And I know I didn't explain what registration is or orientation is, but right now I want you to know that we're going to pick the central registration, the middle dot in this box. And you'll see what that kind of refers to in, in, a, in a minute. But I'm going to click on the middle one and then say OK. As soon as I hit OK, you kind of see that central registration. There's this little plus in the middle. Um, we're not going to ever click on that because you can move it around, and I don't want to move it around. And then you also see a blue bounding box around it. That's a good sign. That means you're doing what you want it to do. So at this point, at the bottom in my timeline, I'm going to tell it that I want it to follow a line. So to tell it, I right click on my layer because this is the layer I want to follow a line. And I'm going to pick Add Classic Motion Guide. So it creates a new layer, and it's hinted at that it's going to be a guide. So at this point, I'm going to use my brush tool. And I'm just going to make sure it's not the same color as this object. So I'm just picking on another color. I'm also going to make sure before I draw anything that I'm on the guide layer. And I'm going to start right there at that plus, that registration symbol, and draw a simple loopy line. So now this shape is eventually going to follow this line. Instead of going in a straight line, I don't want to frame by frame. This is an easy way to animate just following along with that line. So once I have this set up, now the top layer, this guide layer, doesn't move. I will. I don't want this line moving. So I'm going to come out here to 50 and just insert a keyframe on the top layer. So I'm on the guide layer. So now if I play it, this line doesn't move, which is what I want. I do want the blue object, this blue circle to move. So this is something I have to deal with now. So on frame one of my blue object, so now I need to work on this bottom one. I want to tell it that I want a classic tween it. And it's taking a guess at 10 frames and I don't like that so I'm going to insert a keyframe on 50 the same place where my other one ends and then where do I want it to be on 50 I want it to be the other end of the line so again I don't want to grab it by that registration symbol so I'm going to grab it by any other part of this object but when I grab it and move it I want that registration symbol to be on the end of the line and it's weird because with my mouse I can almost feel it being tethered to that line, which is a good sign. So I can let go and then hit enter. And as I hit enter, that shape now follows the line. It's easier to, to animate. I didn't have to frame by frame it into this. Um, that shape now follows the motion guide. So it's a really good tutorial. And like I said at the beginning, this is something just from experience, I know that doesn't work really the first time you try it. But now that you have all the steps, just replay the video the second time you do it, it likely will work.